Hey guys, Troy here with TheInnerGeekZone.com and we're going to try two things at once in this video. We're going to show off some gameplay for the Guardian Fighter and we're also going to try out something from the Foundry. There are already several kind of mission collections here in the Foundry. I heard quite a few good things coming through Twitter about some of the Foundry missions. So we're going to accept one and see what it's like so far. This is probably going to be one of the best things about this game and the fact that Cryptic has this foundry system that they've had experience with through Star Trek Online. They're going to implement it here and let people kind of create their own dungeons and adventures. So we're going to accept the uh, Dwemer Keepers because it's the highest ranked one. And I've tried this once and somewhere along the mission I clicked on something that had me exit and then it kind of bugged out and wouldn't let me back in. So we're restarting. So hopefully things go smoothly this time. If it doesn't, you'll probably never see this part of the video. First thing we need to do is talk to this cleric guy and he's going to get us started. So let's see. Greetings, adventurer. My name is Milan. Milan? Milan? I don't know. I don't want to pronounce it Milan. That sounds too much like the Disney cartoon. Uh, let's see. There's something going on in the woods. What do you need? They cannot be up to any good. I agree. What would you have me do? Da, 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 da. Listen to the cleric. And we finally get to get started. Obviously, there's uh, some time spent on the story there. It's not that I don't want to appreciate the time that I got put into that. It's just that for video's sake, that's not going to be the most exciting thing to sit there and watch. Um... So we need to exit through any city gate. So I'm going to run all the way down to the closest one that I'm aware of, which is most likely the furthest one away. And we're going to take a couple of shortcuts here and run our way down. Here again, if you haven't seen the Trickster Rogue video, the, the town, even just the amount of NPCs, keep keeps the town really bustling and feeling busy and alive there were quite a few zones that have a lot of players in it but in case after launch you're in a town and there aren't as many people around it's still going to feel pretty alive so here we are exiting the city and we want to go to the never winter wood that's where this quest is taking place and the problem before was once I accidentally exited out of this, that option, even though I still had the quest, the option to travel to the wood it was not on my map anymore. So we didn't get too far into it. Here we're going to be ambushed by some drow. And we can handle them pretty easily. Guardian Fighter, my left mouse click, which is my basic attack, is a cleave ability if you position yourself in the right way. You can hit a lot of enemies with it at once. My right mouse click ability. Oh, I need to block that. Oh, she died. My right mouse click ability is like a shield bash that weakens foes. As you can see, we've got a gap closer with the charge there on Q. We've got an AoE that increases resist and such and does some damage on E. On R, we've got an overhand attack and our daily... I believe increases attack damage and and some immunity to attacks so let's get out of the nasty red circle no-no zone there and we'll hit the resist and then we'll hit them with the shield bash I think I'm still getting attacked from the side by one of the spiders yep explains why I'm taking more damage than it looks like I should be taking as you can see, my resist here, instead of having the block, the uh, the dodge, I have the block. Because I'm a shield-wielding badass. Go ahead and chug a potion, make sure we get all of our loot picked up. And continue down the path. Get some more spiders. Pretty easily done. As you can see, our quest is updating as we make our way through. The next objective is to take out these drow guards. There's some big spider bosses up here, though. And we're going to go try to take those on. 
And we'll charge in, pop our daily. Boom, got our big resist. AoE. And then try to kill some little, or not little, I guess these are actually pretty big spiders. And we're gonna continue to use our charge to deal some damage. Use our shield bash to weaken the enemy. And just out of habit, I have a tendency to keep smacking the mouse button, but you can just hold it down for repeated attacks. Pick up some loot, pick up some money. More loot. And there's some interaction with this statue, too. We can interact with it and examine the statue in detail. And it's got an option set up depending on what passives you get based on race, class, whatever. Uh, for the dwarf here, we have Dungeoneering, so we'll use that. And we wipe away some moss, and we find a pendant, which we should return to the cleric, so we'll leave the statue alone and take the, the pendant back to him. Chug a health potion, and then go in and kill some more folks. As you can see, the, the only real issue right now is it's hard to, uh, obviously in real life, if you were swinging your sword and bashing fools with your shield, you wouldn't be super mobile. But, I mean, there's quite a bit of delay in between either swinging this sword or blocking an ability and be able to do anything else. It can be a tad annoying sometimes. As you can see, blocking resists some of that damage we were taking. So instead of the dodge, like I said, you've got the block instead, but on the fighter it's a little a little odd. It can feel a little clunky sometimes. Maybe it's supposed to, and I just gotta get used to it. Cause on the rogue everything felt pretty smooth and you had a lot of ability to dodge and roll. It just switched between actions a lot smoother, so. Obviously a big armor clad, shield wielding dwarf maybe shouldn't have that ability. So we're gonna go into this house. with a very, very slow loading screen here. There it goes. All right, this is the thing I accidentally clicked last time, this big crystal, because I didn't read it, I was just picking up stuff. Uh, the book, I did do the book. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Now this, press F to exit. I'm not sure why that's right there. Maybe we'll find out since after I do this without screwing up, but that was a little odd. And like I said, I was just kind of I just got done reading the book, so I was just kind of clicking stuff to pick stuff up. And I clean knocked myself out of the uh, instance and was unable to get back in. That assassin was drinking some potions and stuff. Pretty darn hard to kill. And here's another one we need to get out of the big red area. Big red no-no zone. We've got our daily ready, but I don't really think we need to use it here. We'll just finish this one off. And try to take that again. A camp campfire sure would be nice right about now. Because if not, I'm about to be chugging the crap out of some potions. We're collecting relics too. So there's one. Defeat the drow looters and their spiders and secure the relics. That's what we're currently doing. Um, we're going to go ahead and drink a healing potion there. And this thing is still on the ground. I don't know. There. We have it now. Okay. We've only picked that up a half dozen times now. No big deal. Uh, it's still beta, and I did just walk over a trap. I'm going to be good at that. Yeah, these assassins are pretty tough customers. They can take a pretty heavy beating. Uh-oh. I'm not sure what's coming, but we resisted it, so nice. Pick up our money. Keep in mind, this is player-created content. This is from the Foundry. This is something that a player has 
put a lot of time into setting up, creating the story, creating all these text panels, and deciding how this is going to work. So, and I'm probably going to wish I'd have checked a potion before I walked in here. quite a bit of damage. I need to keep a better eye out for some of the tails on the physical attacks from the assassins. Because I could block like that, like that. I could block more than I'm actually blocking. I struggled with the Trickster Rogue at first because I was so used to the Guardian Fighter. And then when I finally got used to the Trickster Rogue, now I come back and I'm bad at the Guardian Fighter. Alright, so if we still need one more Drow Looter and or their spiders. Uh, hopefully, I just haven't found them yet and there isn't some kind of bug. Ah, oh, come on, I thought I walked around that. So, I think there was another room over here. Maybe that's where we're... Nope, that's the exit to the... So, one short. Awesome. Oh, there's some steps. Just too dark. I guess I need to adjust my uh, brightness. Because I can't see anything right now. It almost sounded like I was getting attacked, but I can... Oh, it was a trap. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's up with the contrast all of a sudden. Haven't had, had any kind of problem like that in the game so far so that's a little odd but the good news is we found what we needed use that attack ability which I'm still not super impressed with oops alright looting that exit the building through the doors and return to Neverwinter so I wonder if we actually can go through the doors Yep, it doesn't matter if we jump over that. Or if we have to use the uh, exit on the thing I actually clicked. Turn to Neverwinter, this says. We shall do that. Um, Back to the Protector's Enclave, I suppose. Usually it marks it on the map where you're supposed to go next for your quest. But Alright. Turn... The relics. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to run back to Cleric Mylan. Which is super fun running back through town. It does give you more of a chance to see more of the town. We'll stop right here and take a little take a little look. There's floating rocks with houses on them. Giant statues. The Hall of Justice is over here somewhere. Plenty of people in the beta. You see quite a few players running around. And the overall response for the game has been pretty positive too. I, I haven't heard a whole lot of negativity about the game. I think a lot of people have been surprised by how much they enjoy it. Um, not that we were expecting it to be completely terrible, but it's just uh, just looking like it's going to be a really good game. And I just hope that it continues to look that way after we get past the uh, first few levels here. I think the level cap for this event is like 30. I am 12, so I'm not anywhere near that. Alright, yes, I found three relics of Vase and Orb in a book. He surprised anything survived looters. Now that this building has been secured and these relics are safe, I'll find an expedition to study the inn in more detail. I'm glad to have helped. Let's see. We're going to repeat what the drow exclaimed as we killed them, I suppose. The power of the goddess Mysteria is the property of the goddess Loth. This is not good. No, it is not. Anytime you mention the Spider Queen, it is not good. Um, 
According to this holy book, it was called Dwemer Keep Inn and was used as a place of residence and training for new recruits. Let's see. Dwemer Keep Temple. I guess we're supposed to keep asking questions. Thank you. Oh, here. We found this amulet too, buddy. It's a four-pointed star set on top of a hollow disc. Representative of a far more ancient incarnation of Mistra. Thousands of years ago, she was known as Mistril and was the goddess of not only magic, but also time itself. All the more reason for us to continue studying this holy book and send an archaeological team out there to learn. Okay, so we bid you farewell. And now we're supposed to collect our reward, it says. Where do we go to do that? I would have thought for sure that that guy would have just continued. Well, here's a chest here, so we'll... Uh... Heck yeah, look at the shield. Oh, we can't use it yet, but... Uh... We'll grab it up and hang on to it. Alright, now here's where we get to rank the foundry quests. Let's see. Quest rating. Uh, the quest itself was decent enough. Give tip. So you can give them in-game currency, I suppose. Uh, campaign rating. We haven't completed the campaign yet. And then you can check to continue the Dwemer Keepers, which we will do. A smart fight, a quick okay, um, so far so good, sure. 